Hello, and welcome to a new episode of The Data Pinch, a series of bite-sized videos on all things data so that you can start your week with a pinch of data. My name is Dad, and I work in business development and data consulting here at Y42. And today I'd like to share with you how to get people to consume your data. Picture this, you spend hours of your day building a beautiful model and then creating some crystal clear dashboards only to find out that no one is actually looking at your data. How can you avoid your data insights from being unused? Let's find out. Tip number one, make sure people actually have access to the data. Sounds silly, but it could be that your dashboard is private or only a select few can see it. So check that accessibility, manage your users and give all the relevant stakeholders permission to see and interact with the dashboards. Tip number two, share it. Sometimes people are not even aware that you've built a dashboard that could be of use to them. But there's an easy way to fix this. Let them know. Share your latest creation in a company-wide Slack channel or a specific Teams channel so everyone is aware that the insights are there and ready to be used. Number three, help your team become data literate. There are certain business users that have never worked with data in their lives or they have had very few touch points with it. They see data dashboard and they are perplexed. How do I read this? What does this all even mean? Well, you're the expert. Help them find out. It's a one-time investment with great returns in the long run for both parties. On the one hand, you save time later on not having to explain things that should be easy to grasp once you know how to navigate a dashboard. On the other hand, you're empowering previously confused team members to use their data independently and to enrich their business hypothesis and strategies with data-driven insights. How can you do this? You can start by adding little explanatory text next to the visualizations in your dashboard, or you can hold insight sharing meetings where you walk them through the dashboard, share the learnings with them and clarify any doubts on how to understand your depictions of the data. Number four, have regular check-ins with the relevant stakeholders. If you're building dashboards for different teams in your company, make it a point to check in regularly with them. Find out if and how they're using the board, what they've learned from it and what they have optimized thanks to these insights. But also ask for feedback. What could be better? What could be clearer? What else would they like to know? What else is there to find out in the data? And if they're having a hard time finding value in the dashboards or implementing them in their workflow, collaborate to build a final product that is actually beneficial for the use case. So all in all, feedback loops and empowering team members are your best bets to turn unused data into business value. And that's it from my side today. Thanks for watching.